little video today about changing the rear bumper on a Nissan Navara MP300. So that's about from 2015 on. Now, as you can probably see, we've got some lined up here and we'll go through this. But this is our original Nissan rear bumper here. Um, but we had a bit of an incident um, and as you can see, it's a bit mashed. So we've got to replace the rear bumper on our truck and we'll go and have a look at the truck in a minute. Um, right, so how does, so basically we've got some aftermarket bumpers and they're a little bit different and we'll show you why, but they look 95% the same, or they would do if this one wasn't mashed. Um, and we've got them available in a couple of options, we've got them in chrome and this black finish, so whichever you choose to, uh, to put on your truck, you've got the two of them, they're the same shape, they've got the same plastics on the top. Um, everything's the same other than this metal section here and it is worth noting that these are metal with plastic tops we've noticed that on the new Mitsubishi's this section of the bumper is actually plastic and the other bit is with a metal frame behind but on the Nissan they have stuck with um, metal and you can see the original one wasn't stainless this one won't be stainless um, so it's chrome plated um, so we'll have to see how that weathers Sometimes in a, if you use salt on the roads in the winter, they can struggle. Um, so that's the Nissan one. Do you want to rotate it around here? So it's obviously got this plastic middle section. And then underneath on the Nissan one, I'll try and focus at the straight end so you can get a bit better idea. It's, it's got a quite a solid, now we're, we're upside down now, so the bottom's got this quite a solid metal section going to it. And then it's got this little gusset plate here. Um, no, you're right way up. I'm on the right way up, oh, sorry, that is the oh, top, is it? The, sorry, oh, the, so there should be a plastic, the, yeah, the plastic, the plastic. So the plastic should be on the top. And it's got quite a substantial sort of under section, um, but then the plastic clips in, you can see the clips. The other thing to note is the number plate lamp. So the number plate lamps live in two little holes here, and we'll go through that on the new bumper. Now the brackets, the original brackets, look something like... Okay. Spin that. Now I've got, I've got that. And if you want to grab the bracket, so they they bolt on to the bumper like so, and then you can see where it's overlapped the chassis. You can actually see there where it's shiny. It's where it's overlapped, and you've got three holes or a slot and two holes where it bolts on. And we'll take that and show you on the car where that goes. Right. So that's the original. That's what Nissan have produced, and they're probably horrendously expensive from Nissan. So some guys have made replacements and the top plastic tread looks the same. You've got the little cutout for the spare wheel. Um, this one with the brackets. Yeah, this one we've, we've put the brackets up already. Um, right, let's just roll him over. <laughs> um, so you've got the number plate lights and we'll talk about this. But first of all, you will notice the brackets are flat section. They're not, but they're made of thicker section than the others that are a C section. So they've accounted for that. They have put actually a little bend in at the bottom there, I didn't notice before, um, to give it extra strength there. So that'll tell you which is your left and right bracket. Because they sit... Because you can only get it on one way because of that bend. Bend, okay, because so it, it would interfere with... The bracket. Yeah, so you've got it on the... So we've got it on the outside of the gusset plate, nearest the corner of the bumper, with that little ledge at the bottom. And you can see then we've got these three holes. Now there's two sets of holes, if I'm not mistaken, is that right in? Yeah. Where they mount here. There's, in the bumper. So actually bumper in the bumper, right let's just have a flip this one a little bit. Um, so in the bumper you can see you've got, you can either bolt them to this pair of holes or this pair of holes. So you've got a little bit of adjustment there and you've actually got a little bit of adjustment here because unlike the, the Nissan one you've actually got three slots. So you can, you can slot that. Um, yeah you can see there, the up. Nissan one, yeah you've, you've, you've got holes. Um, so, it, so you've got an extra degree of movement there. So that's it, right, the number plate lights come, it comes with number plate lights, but they haven't copied the connector. Uh, you've just got two loose leads there, you see. But the actual original lamps fit straight in, so you could just unpop though the original, which is what we're gonna do on our swap, we're gonna, and then the original ones have got the connectors on. But you could just crimp these into your other ones if you all, if you need Rock it. damage or anything like that. Yeah. yeah, if you if you damage the bumper and damage the number plate lights, 
these do come with them. Or you could take the bulb holder out. If your bulb holder is okay, you could take that out. I'd, I'd always encourage you to use as much original stuff as you can if it's in good nick. So, yeah, bump, so you get a bumper, two brackets, they're handed left and right, and the bolts. Yeah. Now, it does come with some other bolts, but we found them not to be the right thread for the chassis. But we'll go through that now. So let's, we'll grab, we're going to put the chrome one on. We'll go to the car now and show you what it looks like on the car. So we're at our truck now. So you can see this is the Nissan MP300. Now we've got a tow bar on um, and it fits, this bumper fits perfectly with or without a tow bar. Um, we've got the, I believe it's the, is it the genuine Nissan one or the Witter one we've got here in? This was a Nissan one. <laughs> I believe that was a Nissan one. We've painted it. Um, but what you can see is you've got the end of the chassis section here, and it's got three, it's, it's got three captive, oh wait till the light to adjust, so we've got one, where is the camera, you've got one here, one here, and then the other one there, so you've got three holes in the chassis with nuts welded on the other side, so they're like captive mounting points, okay, and they're going to line up with our three holes we've got here and then these are the bolts so we're going to reuse the original bolts. you may get some extra bolts in the bumper kit but they won't fit we haven't got any in the kit with the same thread so you're relying on having original bumper bolts and all our bumper bolts were fine in the crash so that's what we've got so you can see the tow bar and then these gusset these um these sort of brackets here are going to go on the outside so this is key they go on the outside of this section. So one on the outside there, and obviously one on the outside the other section. Right, um, we're gonna reuse our original number plate light. So Ian's gonna whip out the, so if you push it to one side, you'll feel there's a sort of spring force. If you push against the spring, we'll show you when he gets it. So you can That's see, spring so, there. so you, you push against the spring and then just unhook this corner here. And then you can feed this old wire and out, or you could just, yeah. We're gonna, so we've just left the original lights on our car. So we're gonna, we're gonna worry about those later. We're gonna get, get the bumper get, on. So when we get to getting those back in, 90 degree twist and pull those out, feed that through, click that in, hook it back in, and then you can. But we're gonna do that after, because otherwise we're just gonna curtail ourselves with not being able to move the bumper around. So it's going to be a two-person job. Um, so we get your bolts ready, get your brackets on. And again, we've gone on the, let's get this right. Ooh. So if you look here, there's two sets of holes. So we've gone on the, the holes furthest away from the, the bumper front skin. Okay, so you can see that. So we've gone for those two. We've got those bolted out. Those bolts come in the kit. And we're going to go and sort of offer it up now. Your cables should be clipped in. Ours have it's had a hard life for our truck, hasn't it? Right. And grab that side here. I think got demolished. Right. So we're going to jump over the tow bar. Point the brackets down. Okay. And then Ian's going to line them up. We'll have a look when he's got them. So again, you can see now you've got the hole there for your spare wheel release. We've got clearance there around the, around the tow bar. We'll let Ian get his, get couple in. You good? Do I need to tip it anyway for you? They're all started. They're all started. Oh, you might as well come and do the others then. So even when you, because those brackets have got a slot at the back end, once you've got them in, you've still got some fine adjustment. It's fairly coarse adjustment, isn't it? Where have I got to go? Yeah, you got two in. Yeah. yeah, so you could you can see there where it slid. You've got some movement. You can come out or in. You got that degree of movement depending on how close you want it to sit. But that that sits pretty close. So there we go. That's yeah, that. A bit of twist as well on the bottom ones. So, so you, you can sort of there's a little bit of twist. You can get it right, and you have got clearance there for your tow bar. Yeah, loads of room. Loads there. of room there. 
and it, it curls around the side if you push that back it curls around the side gives you some protection at the side so there we go that's how to fit the aftermarket rear bumper on that we've just got to clip your number plate lights back in we'll do that now but that's the uh, that's the rear bumper fitted